What creates a black hole in space? Some black holes are created when a huge star collapses. However, a lot of questions still surround these odd anomalies. The largest stars reach the end of their lives and disintegrate, collapsing upon themselves and producing what we know as black holes. A black hole has no volume, but it does have mass, most of which is the stuff that was once a star. Additionally, black holes get larger, i.e., they gain mass, when they absorb nearby matter. The larger they are, the wider the zone of no return they have, beyond which anything entering is forever lost to the black hole. The event horizon is the term used to describe this boundary. Astronomers believe that these smaller black holes eventually develop into the supermassive black holes observed at the centers of most large galaxies by expanding and consuming material such as planets, stars, errant spacecraft, and other black holes. There's a twist, though. In fact, there are two twists. First, black holes that began as dead stars would take more time than the universe's age to expand to the size of galaxy centers. Astronomers speculate that the cosmos may have accelerated the process by forming massive primordial black holes immediately following the Big Bang. Second, there isn't any concrete proof of so-called intermediate mass black holes, which are in between star-sized and galaxy-sized. In this middle stage, when black holes are on the verge of becoming supermassive, astronomers anticipate being able to see them but so far they haven't had any luck. What we know is that black holes can be very small or very large. The connections between them are still being made, 